quick and easy meatballs that are lighter than air. We're starting with a third of a cup of panko breadcrumbs, and I'm adding three tablespoons of milk to kind of allow the breadcrumbs to soften in the milk. Then I'm going to add half a cup of ricotta cheese. And the ricotta in here kind of makes the meatballs super fluffy and light. So I really like it. Very southern Italian tradition to add a little bit of ricotta in there. Then we're going to add a little bit of parmigiano, which I always add to my meatballs no matter what. I like that nutty, cheesy flavor. And then a little bit of salt and an egg. So what I like to do when I make meatballs is add all of the seasoning first. Mix that all up before I add the meat. That way, it keeps the meatballs nice and light, and you don't overwork or overmix all of the meat, because that's what makes them sort of tough. So that's all mixed together. So now it's time for the meat. So what we're doing is I'm going to combine half a pound of sweet Italian sausage and half a pound of ground pork. And the mixture together creates super flavorful but very light meatballs. And again, in southern Italy, it's all about the mixture of the pork and the sausage. And what's nice about the sausage is that you don't have to worry too much about adding a lot of seasoning to it, like dried herbs and tons of salt and garlic and onion and all that, because it's sort of already in the sausage, right? So it guarantees that you have super flavorful meatballs. So now, before I make little meatballs, I'm gonna heat up my pan here and add some oil because we're gonna brown them all in the pan and then add tomato sauce and let them simmer and finish cooking. Nothing better than mixing the meatballs and keeping them nice and light and doing it with your hands. Here we go. And you just wanna leave them in there long enough to get nice and golden brown. Then we'll add the sauce and finish them off. So what you want to do is just give them a nice golden color all the way around. So we've got that nice sear and lock in the flavor for the meatballs. And now we top them with some store-bought jarred marinara sauce. Just make sure that the sauce covers most of the meatballs. And we're going to let them simmer for about 15 minutes until they're completely cooked through. It's soft and pillowy and fantastic. In the meantime, I'm going to dress a little bit of arugula, because I'm going to serve these for me and Jade in little bowls with the arugula on the bottom and the meatballs on top. So I'm just going to make a very simple arugula salad to go with it. Just a little bit of lemon juice, olive oil, salt, and some Parmesan cheese. That's just the way Jade and I like it. It's taken Jade a long time to come around to arugula. For a long time, it was just too spicy and just, just not her cup of tea. She was all into iceberg and romaine. All right, some salt. And we're gonna give it a quick little toss. And you wanna keep the salad simple anyway because you're gonna put the meatballs that have tons and tons of flavor over them. And then I just like to do a couple of Parmesan shavings right over the top. Why not? All right, arugula salad is done. Let's take a look at my meatballs. My meatballs should be done. Look at those babies. I'm going to take the meatballs and put them with the arugula salad, OK? OK. Take yours. Thank you. Mm, try the meatball with the arugula. OK. I thought maybe, what do you think? That's really good. 